Okay guys, so a few of you have requested um, some ankle mobility drills to do to improve obviously your range, your range of motion uh, and help you with your squats. Okay, especially if you struggle with overhead squats or front squats um, or your, even your back squat, you've got a massive um, angle. Okay, um, so yeah, if you've got that massive angle, you really have to push your hips right back just to get in depth because your knees won't go past your toes, then maybe some of these drills will help you today. Um, first of all, we've got, what we go through is testing ankle mobility, because it's always good to test and then retest after we've done some of the mobilization drills. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I'm, I'm obviously sweaty from, well, not obviously, but I'm sweaty from the class this morning, so I wanted to do this, this straight after so we can quickly Get along with my day. Um, so, quick one on the test ankle mobility. You want to find a nice flat floor and, and a wall to work off, and we're just going to use our hand, okay? So, you need a thumb and your fist. That so goes up against the wall, and that gives us a line there for our bear. So, your foot's got to be bare, and bring your toe right up to where your fist is, okay? So, now from here, without cheating, I should. Oh, it's tight there. So I've got about two fingers there, keeping my heel down. I could easily go like that and have a massive gap there. So I'm probably about, yeah, I'd say two fingers off on my left side. That's got tight, that must have been from the running. Um, so thinking that, when I'm doing that, let's get back to this. So when I'm doing that, where am I feeling the tightness in the front and also here? So that's probably the running yesterday that's caused that. And obviously the joint is a bit tight as well. On the right side, which is my bad side, so this would be even worse. So thumb, fist, big toe there. Yeah, I'm talking three fingers. So there's two fingers on my left, gap, three on my right. Okay, let's see if I can make some sort of, obviously I'm not gonna go in soft tissue work today because we've already done that. And it'll take up a lot of the time of the video. Um, but I'll see if I can do some of the joint mobilisation. Um, so with that test guys, you've got to have a feel of where you feel the restriction is and also in the squat as well. So if you're feeling that it's almost like a barrier here and it just won't go forward, it feels like the joint, okay? So obviously if, if you're feeling like you're getting some sort of blockage around the foot, shin area, and it's just not allowing your ankle to flex, uh, so stopping you from getting any dorsal flexion um, we've got a joint mo we, we've got a joint restriction there okay so we need to do some joint mobilization if it's more so here around the Achilles the calves then it's normally soft tissue work you need to do um, like I said we're on that test then it was both for me um, and, uh, normally when I do it it's both normally my left side can just about touch um, not today but again these are things that we should be able to do or or we should test before we squat because it's going to really have a benefit or it's going to have a, an effect on our squat for sure okay so what can we do to improve that we talked about uh, soft tissue work so the bone saw um, and the stretches what we can do now is try to mobilize um, that joint area i like to use a bit of weight okay kettlebell because i need it normally I'll have a band, a um, resistant band, come off a, off a part of the post or the rig, and then that will sit around my ankle, um, just, just below the bone there, and that will help me get some mobilization there. I haven't got that, well, I have got one indoors, but more likely you guys won't, so I'm gonna try to do it without. So the idea now is to sort of get my hand in there to help mobilize that joint okay so what i'm going to do is going to bring the foot up in front of me yeah into a lunge position and then the kettlebell onto the knee and then probably better if i do it in the front and then i'm going to come in so it's always good to stretch in the position of restriction okay so now this the web of my hand runs into that joint and we're just trying to keep the heel down and use the weight Come through there. Again, come back out. I didn't feel like I've got all the joint enough. 
there. So really put that, what I'm trying to do here guys is put that knee over the toes with my heels down. Okay. That feels like, and when I come back I feel that, that joint move. So really get my hand back in there again. So let's say I put I need some mobile uh, some soft tissue work here as well, not just the mobilization. Uh, quads, uh, hip flexors, ham, calves, all really pretty tight from running yesterday. Not used to running, that's obviously affected me that way. So really just trying to take the knee over now, even trying to push it a little bit more, even if my heel comes up a bit. Just trying to get a bit more range. Come back out, keep wedging that in and really stop the joint. Okay, you want to probably spend about a minute on each foot. Let's see if that's helped. Okay, so I'm in there. Okay, I'm down to one finger now, which is not bad for a minute's work. Um, and then you go on to the other side. So, I've got a little bit of range here, a bit of extra range. That would definitely help me in a squat, okay? Um, with these drills, guys, if you're, excuse me, if you're particularly tight, you're gonna have to be really, really consistent with it. So just a little bit every day, don't get me wrong, as soon as I start walking around the house now, if I'll test that again in another 10, 20 minutes, then we'll go back, okay? So I need, that's why I need to be consistent with it. Uh, these are quite boring stuff to do, but if you fit it into pre-workouts pre or pre-squats, put it in um, before, yeah, I, I do it just before you do any training. And at least that way we start working on that position. Um, what you want to do after that, if you're not squatting, after that is then, once you've done both feet, come in and then get into your squats and really try to, Keeping your back nice and straight, squat tight, and really focus on seeing sort of what range you've got now and teaching your body that's where you want it to be. Okay? So, small little drill, minute on each side, three rounds, um, and, and like I say, just try and do it every day. Be consistent with it. It's going to take a long, if you're particularly tight, it's going to take a long time. Um, for you to see any change at first, but over, in the long run, you will start to see some change and you'll be able to get better into that squat and you'll just move, gen you'll just generally move better and then keep obviously injury free then. Okay, hope that's out guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.